So let's consider an example which uses the Ellingham diagram. We want to establish in our furnace, let's say, an oxygen partial pressure of 10 to the negative 20 atmospheres. And we can do this by flowing argon gas over titanium powders and choosing a temperature which establishes this partial pressure in the titanium to TiO2 system. So in order to solve this, we can do this a couple of ways, but we need to know that for this reaction, that delta G is given by 177.6 T minus 940,000 798, and this is in joules, and this is for the reaction Ti plus O2 forming TiO2. Okay, so we can solve it just using this equation, right? So we know that delta G is equal to RT ln of PO2 and so we can set this up by putting delta G and then plugging in the gas constant and ln of 10 to the negative 20 which gives us this Collect all of our T terms on one side and finally solve for a temperature of 1678K. So this is how we can do it if we have this expression for delta G as a function of T for the reaction. We could also do this though with the Ellingham diagram and let's take a look at how we would do that. So we knew that the pressure that we wanted was 10 to the negative 20th atmospheres. And so we start by finding that point over here on the y-axis. And then we connect to our origin here and we make this line. So we draw this line to indicate this is P equals 10 to the negative 20th. The next thing we do is we find the line on here which corresponds to this oxidation reaction and I've highlighted it here in orange. This is for Ti plus O2 going to TiO2. And so we look for that reaction and we find where these two lines intersect. So at this point right here, and we draw that line down to our temperature axis and that gives us 1400 approximately degrees C. And if we convert that to K, that gives us 1673K approximately. And using the other approach, mathematically, we found T was 1678K. So we're right on. So if you have the expression for delta G as a function of T, you can solve for T. And you can also solve this kind of problem by using the Ellingham diagram to pick off either your partial pressure and then find your temperature or you could pick a temperature and find your partial pressure.